Hey guys, it's Android Nub, and today I'm going to first look for Fanta Shooting, a 2D casual action game published by Sky Carpenter Digital Entertainment. It's free, well it was free to download Google Play, but there's actually a free version, but for some reason free version isn't compatible with my device. But there is also a paid version for some reason that is compatible with my device, and the paid version is 99 cents, and it does not require an internet connection to play. This game isn't that new, it has been out for a while, but I never made a video on it. I never tried it, I'm not sure if it used to be compatible with my device or not, but anyway. You can see this is a kind of action oriented game. You got a joystick in the bottom left and it's like an auto shoot in the bottom right. There, will, you, there is an option to not use the auto shoot and not auto file, fire. If you don't use the auto fire, <clears throat> then you would move the bottom right like joystick, like a joystick, to shoot in a different direction. I'll show you that later. But right now I'm playing as the first character. You start off with. This game is kind of casual game basically. Um, it's similar to some other game I played before called like Zombie Lowly or something. Basically you just you're in a map though there are some other maps to unlock later but you're in this map and you basically it's basically like a survival kind of thing. You just kind of got like three hearts and you just keep shooting killing all these random enemies that appear. I'm guessing as you go on to get harder and harder and new enemies appear. Basically it's just a survival kind of thing. You just want to survive and get kills. So you can see on the top right uh, it shows like the coins you have and the red one is the amount of kills you have. You can use kills to unlock new characters and new maps and other stuff. So the kills in this game kind of accumulate after you die you, those kills are stored and can basically just keep playing until you build up enough kills to buy new characters and stuff. I'll show you that later, it's actually not too hard to get new characters. A lot of characters cost like 5,000 kills, so it's actually going to take a while, but when you think about it, it's not that hard to play, get kills, and basically you just keep playing this, and it's, I mean, it is kind of action oriented, so it's not too boring. Especially since you are trying to like survive here. So again, I'm playing as the default character, some kind of magic guy. Um, shoots the stuff, and holy crap! Big ugly slime. Big ugly slime. Oh god, get away from me! Get back! Oh good, I survived. This guy is pretty damn ugly. Oh yeah, there's some kind of special skill you get. My special skill is some kind of pet. Like crazy dog, go crazy dog, kill that ugly slime. Oh, I got him. He is dead. They gotta have that dog. So we got like 500 kills. I think the next character to unlock requires like a thousand kills. Oh, holy crap. Holy. God, now you can see it's getting way more intense. There's actually like three different difficulties as well. I chose normal, but there's also like easy, hard, and yeah, those are the other ones. Oh god. Okay, so I just finally died. I got 815 kills. My first game. So really it isn't that hard to get kills, it's just kind of time consuming. You can see the different characters. That one required 1,000, these require 5,000, 7,000. So basically you unlock new characters. They're all kind of unique, different attacks, different skills and stuff. Some of them you need to like do some kind of map to unlock. You can see there's a shop where you can buy skills and or upgrade your skills and stuff. So each character does have a lot of skills. So there's a shop where you can buy stuff and we can buy new weapons as well. So I'm just gonna go right ahead and buy this Ranger Rita. You can see there's a couple of different maps, but they require you to use your kills to unlock them. So you can see there's auto aim. Let me turn off that auto aim. Show you guys. What it's like without the auto aim though, it is a lot harder. I actually tried it at first, it's a lot harder without the auto aim. Actually, I gotta move this, it's, you know, it's more interesting, definitely more, gotta pay a lot more attention. It's harder, more challenging to use. Do not have auto aim, obviously, but I'm not sure why you would choose it over the auto aim. I mean, auto aim was so much easier. It's like you just hold a button to move around, and I guess people that want more challenge can do this. Not sure if you get more points or anything, but I'm pretty sure you I don't think you do. 
But this character is way better than my other character, in my opinion. This character which shoots way faster. Like, look at all these shots. Like, if I had all the way on, man, that would be. Those bullets would be going off. Well, they're not bullets, they're not arrows. They shoot fast as hell. Look at those arrows. I'm just showing you guys. This is definitely harder. And maybe a little more interesting, though. Not if you want to do this the easy way. <clears throat> Anyway, so this is like a casual game, there's no story or quests or anything, you just kind of keep doing this to get kills and unlock new characters and stuff. And you can get coins to buy new weapons and stuff. So yeah, if you guys want to check out this game, see the description below, subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.